What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another ad hoc video. Uh, today I will be talking to you about a few things. We are going to cover how we can combine multiple subject area columns into one. So how do I take some of those IPSA columns that are separated like an address and combine them into one easy to read column? And then I'm also going to get into how to apply conditional formatting uh, to some of the reports that you're building. So as always, I invite you to log into the live site and follow along with me on your end. So in this uh, quick little scenario, we're going to build a, a basic alert roster. Okay, And what we want to take a look at is our separated address fields and kind of find out how we can combine those columns into one. So I'm going to pull across a couple of basic columns here. I'm going to bring across full name. I'm going to come down to our personal subject area folder. And I'm going to pull across a couple of address fields. So let's grab address one. I'm going to grab city. We'll grab state, postal. And then I want to make sure to grab the most recent active address to apply a filter. And I'm also going to grab address type. So I'm just going to apply a quick filter to our most recent active address and say yes. And I can get rid of that column because we don't need it. And for address type, um, I'm only going to take a look at mailing addresses for this one. So mailing address and we can get rid of that one. Take a look at the results. And I'm just going to expand this. OK, so we can see here we have address, city, state, and postal in four separate columns. So what we want to do is combine all four of these into one. So I'm going to go back to my criteria tab. What I want to do is bring across another column so I can add a formula to it. So I'm just going to bring across my address one again. And then I'm going to hover over my toolbar and select Edit Formula. So if you come down to Insert Function, the function we're looking for is under our String subfolder. And you should have a concat function. So concatenate gives us the ability to take two expressions and combine them into one column. Now, the downside to this function in OBIEE is obviously I'm only limited to two expressions. Okay, but we're going to insert this one anyways just to see what it looks like. So I already have my address one field as my first expression. For my second expression, I'll just insert city. And the formula should look like that. Change my heading real quick. and select OK. Take a look at the results. So we can see now this being a training environment, our addresses just look like a bunch of jumbled letters. Um, but the fundamentals of what we're learning remain the same in the live site. OK, but you can see here we've combined the address one field with the city. But obviously, we're limited to two, so we want to figure out how to combine all four. So if we go back to criteria, and I'm going to go back to that formula. Now, there is a way in SQL that I could nest this formula. So I could continue and say concat, open parentheses, concat, open parentheses as many columns as I wanted to, um, I could insert in here and combine them. However, what I found is in OBIEE, it does not like this SQL statement, which is OK because there is an easier way to do it. So I'm just going to delete this formula. And I'm going to come down and insert that address one column again. So on your bottom right hand side, 
you should have two pipes, an icon with two pipes. This is your concatenate um, function. Okay, this symbol is, is your concatenate. This gives us the ability to combine as many columns as we want. So what we want to do is you have your first column. You're going to insert your concatenate symbol, your two pipes, space, and then insert your next column. So your symbol separates each column, and that tells the system that it's combining it into one. So I have my address, my city, my state, and my postal code. Come down and select OK. Now what I have found is you'll probably get a syntax error. I have confirmed that this formula works in both the training site and the live site. Okay. My assumption is that at the basic user level, we're probably limited in what we can do with these formulas. Um, that's why I continue to get this syntax error. But like I said, I've confirmed that this formula works and it'll allow you to save your report. So you should still be fine. So I'm going to select OK and check the results. So now we can see the address, city, state, and postal code have all been combined. However, there's no spaces, there's no commas in between it to separate the fields. So that's what we're going to do next. We want to figure out how to add a space in between these columns to make it easier to read. So we come back to criteria, go back to our edit formula. What we want to do is create our own custom text field. Okay. So on this first pipe symbol, we want to add another one. And in between these two pipes is where I can add custom text or I can add a space if I want. So if I want to add a space, I'm just going to insert single quotations, space, single quotation. Inside of these single quotations is where your custom text would go. Um, in this case, it's just going to be a space. So in between city and state, I can add another single pipe. And what I'm going to do is in my single quotations, I'm going to add the comma. So here I have just a space, here I have a comma in between city and state, and finally between my state and postal, I'm only going to have a space. So your formula should look like this. Give me the address column, have my concatenate pipes, I have in single quotations just a space. I inserted a comma and I inserted a space. Select OK and check the results. So now you can see we have our address with a space, our city with a comma, our state with a space, and then our zip code. So you can do this with any separated columns and if say you want to combine um, with those pipe concatenate symbols and if you continue to get that syntax error like i said i've confirmed it works you can still save your report and you should be fine now the second thing i want to take a look at real quick is our conditional formatting so conditional formatting uh, no different than excel gives us the ability to highlight or easily identify certain cells based on criteria that we input. So it's all based on the filters that we apply. And then we can highlight cells. We can insert images to make them more easy to recognize. So what I want to do here is I'm going to add in a phone number for this alert roster. So I'm just going to pull across the preferred phone number. 
And I'm going to check the results real quick. So we can see that some of our preferred phone numbers are missing in this report. So what I want the units to do is clean these up. I want to easily identify those phone numbers that are missing and then have the units go ahead and input that in the modify person so that these are no longer null. So if you go back to your criteria tab, and hover over your settings for whatever column we're going to apply a format to and select column properties. So anything within OBIEE that has column properties should also have conditional formatting. So the performance measure tiles that we've already covered in a previous video, you could apply conditional formatting to that. Any column in here, you can apply conditional formatting to. Anything you see column properties, you can do this. So if you select conditional format, this is where we're gonna add our condition. So I'm gonna select add condition, select our column for preferred phone number, and it's gonna ask you to apply a filter. So we're gonna say preferred phone number is null. So whenever this preferred phone number is missing or is blank or null, whenever that condition is met, this is what the format is going to look like. You can change the font color. You can change the font style. You can change the cell color, or you can add an image. In this case, I just want to highlight the background red. So anytime phone number is blank, highlight that entire cell background red. Select OK and OK. Check your results. So now you can see here, anytime this preferred phone number column is blank or null, it's gonna highlight it red for us and make it easy to identify that something needs to be corrected. So that's all I have for you on this video. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, Defend and Serve.